Globally, wheat contributes roughly 18% of the total dietary calories, and barley is the fourth most important cereal in the world. Both commodities are used in making bread, soups, pasta, even tea. Wheat and barley are threatened by disease, weather extremes, and climate change. Farmers rely on plant breeders to develop improved varieties that tackle the growing challenges of today and tomorrow. ARS plant breeders recently released new wheat and barley varieties that produce higher yields and nutritional values, greater resistance to disease, and increased resilience to weather extremes. In Pullman, Washington, research geneticist Kimberly Garland Campbell released Castella, a club wheat that's a specialty class of soft white wheat grown commercially in the Pacific Northwest of the United States. With improved grain yields, greater resistance to disease, and higher quality, Costella is a jack of all trades in the world of wheat. Most importantly, it has better resistance to pre-harvest sprouting or early germination, a condition that reduces the quality of the grain and results in a loss for farmers. In Aberdeen, Idaho, research geneticist Gong Shi Hu released two new types of food barley called Cardia and Upspring. Cardia is a hulled spring barley, meaning the seed is covered. Along with a higher yield than other common varieties, this new breed is 2% higher in beta-glucan fiber and has already become quite popular with growers. Upspring is a winter barley that's hullless or naked as it's called in the industry. It has the distinction of being the first two-road winter type barley available. Along with higher yields, it has a longer growing season, giving growers options for planting and harvesting times, as well as better use of available water resources. Both barley varieties were bred to improve yield amounts and increase beta-glucan fiber nutrition for people who may struggle with cholesterol, high blood pressure, obesity, and other diseases. All three new varieties will help growers prepare for future markets and climate conditions. Who knows what we'll grow from here?